This is indeed a great honor. No, it is not. I did not come down here to see you. For the past two hours, I've been sitting with a baker's dozen of your ship owners in the boardroom down the hall. Well, those meetings certainly are stimulating. Stimulating? The subject under discussion was warehouse robberies and the rising cost of insurance premiums. All the meetings can't be a barrel of laughs, Foxy. The chairman told me that I was invited to that meeting at your suggestion. Is that so? You stuck me with that meeting, Nicky, and now I would like you to try to explain to me just why. All right, Foxy. Now it's the, it's the same old story. The warehouse robberies are costing us a million dollars a year. Something's got to be done about it. I figure you're the logical choice to put a little pressure on the police. So you admit you stuck me? Well, yeah. Anyway, what was the outcome? I agreed to press a higher appropriation for the waterfront police. Well, great. Now you can take me out to lunch, right? Not just yet. What's the matter? You sure it on funds? One other decision came out of that meeting. Is that so? There was another warehouse robbery last night, a big one. $50,000 worth of drugs. I suggested to your employers that you be assigned to investigate that particular crime. Oh, and they goodness. agreed with my suggestion unanimously. Oh, no. Look, I'm not a cop. I wouldn't even know where to start. Do you know a man called Roger Dean? Yeah, I used to know him. He's a nightclub singer. Why do you say you used to know him? He dropped out of sight about a year ago. Why? Well, that's Roger Dean today, or rather last night. He was knocked unconscious by the thieves. Now, perhaps your friend saw some faces before he got slugged. You say you don't know where to start? Start with Roger Dean. You can find him at the George Street Hospital. You hung me into this, didn't you? Exactly. You stuck me, laddie, so I stuck you right back. And you did. Roger? Roger Dean. It's good to see you. Hey, uh, Nick. Nicky Nick King, Nicky sure. King. Uh, hi, man. What? Hey, you the guy signing me out? Guilty. Well, come on. The doctor says you're ready to go. Am I ready? So, wh wh what brings you here? Uh, Roger, I uh, heard you had a little trouble. Well, you put me on. I'm, I'm fine, fine. Well, good. Oh, what do you say we go get something to eat, okay? Oh, yeah, a nice big steak. Sure. Uh, yeah, lots of black coffee. Well, you got it, man. Yeah, maybe some apple pie. What are you trying to do, kill me? It's the only one thing I need, and it comes in a little glass of boat. Yay high. Well, Roger, don't you think you ought to cool the booze for now? Look, Nicky, I get out of here. Not you, not anybody's going to come between me and that drink. All right, well, if you're going to drink anyway... How would be my guess, huh? You just said the magic word. Oh, you don't know, man. You just don't know. Hey, uh, you gonna spring for another smash? The doctor says that stuff's gonna kill you. Doctors. <laughs> You, 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 you had it before? Yeah. Well, you got it again. <laughs> Nothing's going to kill me. I'm dead. You don't look all that far gone, right? Far gone is a state of mind, my friend. It's not all that bad, Roger. You want to give another thing? I remember the time you used to sing in that club, the downbeat. Yeah, yeah, downbeat. And that song, you're, you're dead, yeah, but you're... Yeah, yeah. 
He's dead, but he won't lie down. That's right. That's right. Every night he's <laughs> out on the town. He's dead, but he won't <laughs> lie down. <laughs> That's right. You know something? You are alive, but you just don't want to wake up. Hey, listen. Now, I want, want, want to ask you something. Yeah. It's been a year since that day I found that barrel of booze and jumped into it. Why you now? How come you showed up today and bailed me out? We're friends, Roger. Yeah, sure. In a way. I remember you... You drag your chick... Your chicks... in the downbeat. And I'd sing, you'd applaud. Yeah, I'd join you at the table for a drink, and a good time was had by one and all. That's for sure. You know, you were good. You were damn good. Ah. Oh, you were. Well, what I was getting at... Well, we weren't all that good friends. I just don't understand why you showed up today. I saw your picture in the paper. We still work for the ship owners? Oh, yeah. Well, are you still buying or is saving my soul part of the deal? Oh, sure. Another place. Say, how's the head? What did they hit you? Anyway? Oh, I've been hit worse. Inside. <laughs> hey, did you get a look at the guys that hit you? No, they were behind me. Well, when you first came on the scene. Why? I'm just curious, that's all. Just curious. Yeah. Well, we finally got down to it, huh? Bosses want to know who's knocking off the warehouses. And... You saw my picture in the paper. And you come down here to see if poor old Roger can still sing a few bars for an old friend. <laughs> Roger, those men are dangerous. The dope that they stole, the, the guns that they carry, they're dangerous men. Not in my department. But Roger, thanks for letting me off the hook, Nicky. I was starting to feel bad about hitting you up for all these drinks. Oh, yeah, it was just part of your job. This is on your expense account, right? Hey. All right, Roger, if that's the way you want it, I'll lay it on the line. Yeah. Here, I'll tell you what. You tell me who those guys were that slugged you, and you can go get yourself drunk for a month if that's what you want. Later, Nicky. Much later. Well, at least you take water with it. And ice. Would you care for a drink? I don't drink. Did you, uh, you see the view from that window? Beautiful. On a clear night, you can see halfway across the lake, almost 30 miles. Don't you want to know how I got in? You're in, suit yourself. I asked the superintendent. He let me in. He didn't seem in the least surprised. I know. I'm notoriously normal. You sure you wouldn't care for a drink? Perhaps with some soda? Don't you even want to know who I am? Like I said, suit yourself. I'm Joanne Dean. Where's my brother? Well, as a matter of fact, Joanne, I just left him around the corner at a bar. What is it with people like you? You look all right, you've shaved, you've got a nice place here. I've been looking at your books and records. You've got taste, too. What is it that makes people like you want to destroy yourselves? If you could just control it, if you could keep off it, you could be quite nice. Well, thank you. Are you are drinking all day long? All right. All right, Miss Dina, let's get something straight. I don't live my life out of a bottle, you know. But you just said you were drinking with Roger. No, I said I was with Roger. He was the one that was doing the drinking. You're not one of Roger's drinking buddies? I hadn't seen Roger in about a year. But you signed him out of the hospital. That's how I got your name and address. I saw his picture in the paper. I thought maybe I could be of some help to the guy. A bar, is that your idea of help? All right, now look, Joanne. Your brother was in the hospital, and nobody would have checked him out if it hadn't have been for me. I wanted to give the guy a meal, bring him here, give him a, a chance to get himself straightened out. That is, if I could. But that wasn't what he wanted. Oh, Mama. that I didn't 
been looking for Roger for so long. Mama and I have been going out of our minds. We haven't heard one word from him. When they said Roger left with you, I guess I jumped to conclusions. That's all right. How does he look? I've seen him looking better. I've got to talk to him. Yeah, but not right now. At least not at the rate he was belting him down the last time I saw him. Well, when can you arrange it? Me? Well, if you hadn't signed him out of the hospital, I'd have seen him. Yeah, but I don't want to go butting Listen, in. Listen, if you else. hadn't signed him out of the hospital, I'd have seen him. Mama would have seen him. I, we I, might I, have I, been... I, I, all right, you made your point. You made your point. I'll, I'll find him for you. I guess I owe you that much. Oh, we save a room at the good old plaza for a good old Charlie Parsons. Of course, the plaza. On to the plaza. On to the... When will the buyers see the stuff I'm selling? Oh, the greatest. I'll take them into the bar, buy them a couple of shots and soften them up. That's oh. right. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, get up here. Come wait, on. Wait, wait, oh. wait. What? Take a look what I got in this sample case. <laughs> oh. Ladies and kiddies, but the best that money can buy. No. It's a knockout load of goods, all right, Charlie. Come on. Yeah, look, look at this union suit. Smooth. <laughs> kiddies hardly know they got it on. And the buttons, it'll last forever. you keeping a distinguished guest waiting? One of those evenings, huh? Yeah, one of those evenings. I want the best room in the house. No, oh, we've been saving it for you, Mr. Parsons. Uh -huh. uh, would you uh, care to sign the register? You <laughs> sign for me. I'm Charlie... Uh, Charlie... Charlie Parsons. You see? Everybody knows good old Charlie Parsons. I told you. Right this way, Mr. Parsons. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. You see? Best in the house. Yeah. Like always. <laughs> Thank you, my good man. I want to leave an early call for the morning. <laughs> Got a big day's business. No early call, Mr. Parsons. <laughs> You're going to sleep it off. <laughs> All right, yeah. here we go. Easy. There we are, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. All right. Home oh. 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 for the seal. Home oh. for the Yes, um, uh, oh, yeah, I'll see you, Charlie. Hey, Raj! Raj, come on. Hey. Listen, Raj, just about this time, the fog seems to lift a little. I can see it all, just for a moment, bright and clear. Yeah, sure, Charlie. Good old Charlie Parsons. Hotshot salesman in the plaza. All gone. It's too late for me. But it's not for you, Raj. I don't care what that dame did to you. I uh, closed too many doors behind me. Ah, uh, you could make it, Raj. No, it's too late, Charlie. Uh, Throw away all the keys. Huh? Throw away all the keys. Throw away the keys. Hey, you sure you don't want to stay, too? No, not me, you know, no matter. It's still party time. <laughs> go, all right. Go. Good night. <laughs> Hey, you. You, uh, you come out from there. You hear me? Come out or I shoot.
let's get out of here. Hey, Bud, is this right for the Kuzinski funeral? Adam Kuzinski. Get out. He was a friend of ours. You heard me beat it. Go get warm someplace else. Get out! That's all right. They're friends of my husband. Sorry about your husband, Mrs. Kaczynski. He was a great guy. Yes. It was a terrible thing. It was good of you to come. Would you like to go inside? Well, uh, no, I, I mean, uh, we're not dressed. He means we just came by to pay our respects. Thank you. Bobby. Which one of you is called the war friend? No, Bobby, I don't think... It's all right, ma'am. I guess that'd be me. This is for you. Well, thanks, son. My dad was going to give you his old one, but... Ma says you might as well have this one now. Dad and me were real pals. He was a great guy. Yeah, I know. Hey, that's brand new. You'll get 15 bucks for that. Take what? your filthy hands off the coat. I want you to come with me now. For what? Joanne wants to talk to you. Some other time. Now look, Roger, you put me in the center. You gotta get me off the hook. What hook, Nikki? I was the one that bailed you to the hospital. Bailed you to the hospital, right? If I didn't do it, Joanne would have. Now she wants to talk to you. After that, you can do what you want. Roger, you look awful. I'm all right. No, we haven't heard from you for almost a year. Mama didn't know whether you were alive or dead. So now she knows. Oh, damn you. Is that all you can say to me? Is that all you can say to your mother? She loves you! Then let her do one last thing for me. Tell her to... Tell her to forget about me. If I could just snap my fingers and... Mind. <laughs> Why didn't you just kick her in the face? Charlie. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have sold Kaczynski's coat. He wanted me to have that coat for the winter, and I... Forget it. You can always get another coat. You can always get another friend. Not like Kaczynski. I sold him out. There are a few bottles of booze. Yeah, and the lowest thing there is. things lower than me. Like the scum that killed Kaczynski. Charlie Coolidge. Uh, those two-bit killers don't, don't scare me. Charlie. You killed Kaczynski. Charlie. Yeah. Another thing I'm not afraid to tell you, 
I saw you do it. You better get your friend out of here before he gets in trouble. Yeah, sure. He didn't mean anything. He just had a few too many. Sure. sure. They murdered sure. Charlie. Shut up. Charlie, shut up. Hey, boss, later. Smile. It's just an old bum who's had too much to drink. Smile, I said. I'm gonna split. time I tried to get in touch with my son, I dropped a quarter on the phone or one bong. That's how it felt. Bong. Well, that is the last bong you're going to have for a while. Why? What's so different about today? What's it? Hmm? The difference is there are three guys trying, oh. trying to find you, three guys looking to kill you, remember? Yeah. Unfortunately, I remember. Hmm. Don't... Where is this? But it's an old freighter. It's laid up. It's used for storage. It's my hideaway. Listen, I, Charlie, I'm going ashore. I'll be a couple of hours. Well, where are you going? I got to get my hands on some money. Got to get you out of town. Train fare, bus fare, whatever. Got to get some money. You're right. One more bomb. Well, Charlie, Charlie, space the drinks. Just get rid of the shakes and don't get sloshed. And don't... Don't make a move till I get back. Hey, hey Turk! Hey, Turk! Look, I need some money. Got to get Charlie out of town. Why tell me? I haven't got any. Now, come on, knock it off, Turk. You're always holding out. Dig down into the lining. Honest, I'm broke. Look, these hoods are going to kill Charlie. Well, I got to go. Poison? Uh, no, no, I, uh, well, I, I need some money. I thought maybe you could lend me some. Me? Lend you money? Hey, you must be on something stronger than what I sell you. J just a few bucks. Pay back at the end of the week. You never lost a nickel on me. <laughs> it's because I never loaned you a nickel. I've been a good customer, Kane. Yeah, the only good customers are the ones that give me money. I need it badly. Palomine's bought himself some big trouble. Yeah, yeah, I heard. That's just one more good reason for me to keep out of it. Oh, listen. No. No. Absolutely not. Yeah. I, uh... 
came to ask a favor. You know the bars? No, no, it's not that. I'd like to get cleaned up. You want to borrow your shower? Get a shave? Yeah, help yourself. I'm sorry about yesterday, the way I treated Joanne. I mean, uh, I've been thinking about it. That's why I wanted to get spruced up. You mean you're going home? Yeah. Roger, how about some breakfast, huh? Well, I think I'd better skip breakfast this morning. Sure. Uh, the shower's in there, razor, anything else you might need? Yeah, thanks. Uh, say, Raj? Yeah. Uh, what do you say uh, to a clean shirt, huh? Yeah, thanks. There's not much doing at the office today. Uh, I could phone him, tell him I'm coming in late, give you a lift over your mother's if you'd like. No, no, thanks. I don't want to put you out. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I say, I hear a friend of yours is in trouble. Yeah, who? Well, they call him the war frat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they uh, say it could be bad trouble. It could be. Uh, you gonna do anything about it? No. I hear you and he were pretty good friends. Where I live, you don't have any friends, just temporary buddies. Now, that old guy doesn't mean anything to me. Say, Roger, you sure you don't want to lift over to your mother's? I'm not going back yet. Yeah, but I thought you said that you were... Yeah, I know I did, but I... Well, I don't want to show up at home until I have a job. How do I look? Well, it's a, It's an improvement, that's for sure. Huh. Have you got any particular job in mind? Well, I thought I'd try the downbeat. Remember, uh, Tony? Sure. Well, he and I used to get along pretty well together. Oh, good. I'll see you. Hey, uh, Raj? Mm -hmm. Here, take this. Oh, I got your shirt and tie. Take it, please. Thanks, Nicky. And give my regards to Joanna. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Okay, honey. Fine. Fine. Hi, Tony. Roger. It's been a long time. Yeah. Hey, Eddie. Thanks for remembering. Say, do you mind if I, uh... Talk. <clears throat> that was very big in Vegas. Oh, you've been playing Vegas? Mm. That was in the Desert Inn. I was in Hungry Eye in Frisco on the band box now. Now, don't try and snow me, friend. You've been playing Skid Row. Yeah. So what stopped you? Well, I got hit in the head. I got out of the hospital. My kid sister found me. 
kind of shook me up. I thought I'd start working again. You know, the old road back. You've really quit? Oh, yeah, yeah, two months now. Or maybe two hours ago? I'm telling you, I, I, I've, I've kicked the stuff. I just want to get back in the business. I can't afford the risk. I was paying you five bills a week. I can't afford that sort of money for a lush. Well, look, I'll, I'll, I'll take a cut. A couple of hundred. 150. Well, maybe we could figure something out. Just let me check the bookings, huh? I'll be right back. Monday, a hundred a week for four weeks. A hundred a week, but that, that's a hundred better than your going price right now. Take it or leave it. Well, I'll need something up front, a uh, hundred. Uh-uh. Look, I'm gonna need a new set of threads, a couple of new arrangements. Okay. Well, that's a bet that you'll be here on Monday. Don't make me a loser, Roger. Get the money. You really think he will come? Yeah. But after that last scene, after the last time we Maybe met... Maybe that last scene made the difference. I think he's trying, Joy. To give up drinking? Yeah, just that. And now's the time to give him a chance, huh? Joanne? Fine. You really mean that? Sure, I mean it. Quite a lot's happened since, since I saw you. Are, you. are you coming home? Sure, I'm coming home, but not quite yet. I, 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 I got a job. Let me get a couple of days' work under my belt, then I'll be home, huh? Oh, that's wonderful. Mm. Mother will be so pleased, you just can't imagine. Now, why don't you go home and tell her? Tell her I'll see her soon. You really mean that? You really will come? Sure, I really mean it. Come on. Thank you, Nikki. You give her a big kiss for me, huh? Thanks a lot for that, Nikki. Uh, 
Listen, I better split. I got a couple of things to do. Too bad about Charlie, the war friend. You heard about Charlie? Yeah, I happened to be talking to the police. They mentioned it. Kind of tough on you, eh? I told you that old guy didn't mean anything to me. Sure, but you arrived less than a couple of minutes after he was killed. I guess that was coincidence. Yeah, just a coincidence. Level with me, Roger. Look, can I help? Thanks, Nicky, but this is something I have to I'll, do I'll do myself. anything. Or nothing. You call the shot. Nicky, I'm going to leave alone. But if anything happens, well, there is a favor you can do for me. Tell everybody that's interested, <laughs> all three of them, that I was sober at the wind-up. Bright-eyed and sober. Roger. Turk, you're gonna help me. Look, Raj, if it's the rat... Oh, forget about Charlie, he's out of it. Out of it? Dead. Saw so you so broken up about it. You're gonna do something for me. Not me. You're gonna find Russian Mike. You're gonna tell him that I'm going to spill my guts. Are you crazy? They'll kill you. You're gonna tell him I'm hiding out in the Blue Star Line warehouse. Uh, no dice, Roger. I don't want to get myself knocked off. There are a lot of ways to get knocked off, Turk. Anyhow, they'll love you. You're doing them a favor. They'll probably slip you a few bucks. No, I don't like it. A few bucks to sew in your lining. Yeah. I'm expecting visitors. I don't want them to get away this time. They're the guys who killed Kuzinski and Charlie. And me. Right? shooting or we'll plug each other before we get him. Spread out.
Taking care of them. Oh, it wasn't smart, Roger. You could have got yourself killed. Yeah, I, I guess I could have. But that's what you wanted, wasn't it? You, you tried it the slow way, but it wouldn't work. You tried it the, the fast way, this way, and it wouldn't work either. Why don't you call it a day? You know, I, you know, after all, there is, a, there is a fate worse than life. I've closed too many doors, thrown away too many keys. Don't you know what's been happening to you? You're off the sauce. You, you got a job. You fixed it up with your family again. Just keep going. Keep unlocking a couple of more doors and you'll walk right out into the daylight. I can, I can buy you a lot of keys, Roger. For a lot of whiskey. Or a new set of threads. Thank you. 